You know, looking at this reminds me of the Stanford Prison Experiment, which I did a number of years ago. In many ways, it's very similar. In 1971, Phil Zimbardo conducted a revolutionary experiment here in the bowels of Stanford University. It rocked the world of psychology. A group of students were divided randomly into prisoners and guards and forced to live in a makeshift jail. The prisoners immediately became submissive. And the guards became cruel. We analyzed the behavior of each of the groups, each of the individuals, and by the end of a week, uh, they were totally different creatures. Dave Escherman was 17 at the time of the experiment. He was to become the ringleader of the guards, showing the cruelest and most sadistic behavior. During the experiment, there was never a time that I felt guilty about what I was doing. Uh, afterwards, on reflection, then certainly, but uh, I think I was so deeply into my character at the time that it never crossed my mind that I was doing anything harmful. Within a week, Phil Zimbardo's prison had become inhumane, and the experiment had to be cut short. At one point, prisoner 416 tried to stage his own rebellion. There was one prisoner that decided they would go on a hunger strike, and he wasn't going to eat. So we withheld food from the rest of them. Get in that trial, man. We decided that we would throw this hunger striker into the closet and then uh, smack the door as hard as we could, uh, you know, let the other prisoners know that they're being punished because of what this prisoner had done. Thank you, for I was surprised at how easy it was to intimidate them and to break down their resolve and to uh, upset their solidarity that they had with each other, we were able to pretty much isolate each one of them so they felt that they could not rely on their fellow prisoners. Ultimately, 416's fellow prisoners turned on him. They were given a chance to release him. Now, what would it be? What would it be over here? But they voted to leave him in there. 416, you're going to be in there for a while. So just get used to it. He is totally rejected, not only by the guards, but by his other group of prisoners. Uh, and it had a very powerful, profound effect on him.